Welcome back fans and newcomers to a brand new episode of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays. Be sure to stick around until the very end to hear how to enter our first ever HyperX giveaway for one of their cloud headsets. So without any more delays, let's start this action-packed episode with Heifers on Lucian, who outplays the enemy bot lane with the help of his arch nemesis Thresh. After the hook lands, they go all in, but Braum gets right in his face, so he backs off as both AD carries start 1v1ing the supports. Once Heifers makes it to his turret, Braum turns around to go after Thresh, who is now completely oom and sandwiched between players. The only way for Caitlyn to safely re-enter the fight is with CC from Braum, so she sits back and pops health potions while letting Braum apply his passive. Caitlyn moves in as the stun triggers, but Lucian covers his support and vice versa for Blue team as Braum saves Caitlyn and starts to retreat. As Red Team's bot lane pursues, Braum flashes out, but we see an incredible cue from Lucian to snipe out both players to bring this intense skirmish to an end. Landing in at our number 4 play, we have Ghost Riders X on AP Kogma in a Diamond Elo match. Right off the bat, we see Blue Team go ham as he immediately tries to reposition while the team fight erupts. His teammates are going down left and right, and things are looking grim, but he continues cutting back while DPSing, and then he lands a nice Q on Jinx to keep her away. Riven goes down to his ult, and with no burst potential on him between Braum and Udyr, he continues moving back while doing what he can to get them lower. He eats for the kill on Udyr and then gets on Braum, choosing to use his living artillery to snipe out Jinx while sidestepping Braum's Q. He narrowly misses one ult, and then fires out another one to secure the quad as he starts making his way to the final remaining player on the other team. With no vision of the area, he approaches cautiously and tries his ult but misses, so he knows Brand must be trying to turn and reads him to dodge the Q while scoring the pentakill. Coming in at third place is Annie C. Hester on Galio to turn an insanely close game in their favor. In the beginning, we see the enemy team just recently ace blue team and we're looking to try and end, but with players responding, they decide to peace out. With the enemy team's base exposed as well, blue team wants to use this turnaround momentum to counter push because red team won't be ready in time to defend the inhib. Galio decides to take that momentum a step further and starts to teleport to cut them off. Sivir ults so they can get back in time to heal and get ready to defend, but here comes Galio from out of nowhere. Stuck in between a rock and a hard place, Red Team decides to confront Galio, but his ultimate catches them off guard and shuts down the Fizz. As his team fights, he keeps going after the carries, abusing his Thorn Mail to make him unattackable. Sivir knows she can't escape and starts attacking him, but between Thormail, his W and Q, she goes down, followed right after by Yasuo. Thanks to this amazing turnaround play by Galio, they don't just get the inhib, they take it to the Nexus to win the game after a mini base race versus Shaco. Moving into our number 2 spot, we have Captain Orca and Orianna in an extremely close Diamond 1 game. With the enemy team sieging with Baron, it's going to take a big play to save their base. She's placed the ball in the middle of the lane, zoning them back, but when they round the corner, she instantly pulls the trigger, catching all 5 players in a huge shockwave dissonance combo. The enemy team immediately tries to disengage, but it's no use as blue team gets shredded. Some of them escape into the jungle, but get hunted down later, and all in all, despite being down 14,000 gold, red team manages to pick up the 3 for nothing exchange. And for number one pro play for this week, we have Gold Jet 30 on Jace with a clutch game ending play. As the friendly blue team works on defending the base, Jace is pushing down mid and jumps right onto Orianna for the kill. With the enemy team currently taking down every structure in his base, including all the inhibs, he knows that him and his team have at best a couple of minutes left before the pressure from all three lanes as super creeps lose them the game. We can also see that they're behind a tremendous amount of gold, so with both of these things combined, it's time to do or die for Jace. He takes the inhib as Shaco comes in and bursts him down, but a quick E flash turnaround Q followed by the all-in with Ignite leaves Shaco burning until the Guardian Angel procs. Jace waits for the revive and perfectly times up his Q and auto to finish Shaco as he deceives, leaving no remaining players between him and the Nexus. We're gonna speed it up one last time as we see the enemy team get on the Nexus towers and with just Braum alive to defend, things aren't looking too great. He does his best to DPS down the tower, but it's 1 versus 3 in this base race, but he doesn't give up and neither does the friendly Braum as they look to finish the final leg of this sprint. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Zakubakas on Braum, who team fights well, but the thirst for blood is real. As this plays on, I wanted to talk about our first ever HyperX giveaway for one of their cloud headsets and the details to enter. For starters, to make things fair across the board, and rather than sending you guys all over the place to like this or like that, we wanted a way for everyone to go to one place and be able to participate. With that being said, the top link in the description box of this video will be a link to a giveaway we're running over on a website called Rafflecopter. Essentially, you'll put in your email address and then you'll get to choose what whether or not you want to like our Facebook page or Twitter, as well as HyperX's social media, and each time you do, you get one entry. The more entries, the better your chances of winning. 
If you already follow us or them on social media, then it's even easier because you'll still be able to redeem all the possible entries every time we do a giveaway. So that means once you follow both of us across the board the first time, you'll be able to get 4 out of 4 entries every time we do a giveaway. If any of that was a bit confusing, I promise you Rafflecopter is really easy to understand once it's there in front of you, so please head over to that top link in the description box and check it out for yourself. The more people that sign up, the more giveaways we can do, and therefore, the more we can give back to you guys, so it's a win-win for everyone. Thanks everyone for watching, you guys are the best, and good luck to those who enter to win one of the best headsets on the market.